Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video we saw how network disk function works. In today's video we will see a practical example of network disk function along with few more criteria. I have created sample data for IT support team. Here we have three columns. The first one is ticket ID. Second one is when the ticket is actually started or ticket is raised and the third is end date that is when the ticket is resolved. This file and the application is available to download. To find out the link please check the description below. So we will see different criteria how network disk function is working. This data is only for three months. So ticket started from January to March and we have holidays for January to April. I will load this data now. To save our time, I have already created a script. I will reload this application now. At the front end, I have created one simple table for ticket ID, start date, end date and the example. And I have also created calendar for the four months. This calendar I have created in Excel file and just uh, used as an image here. So we have seven holidays from January to April. So these holidays I have shown as green color and weekends I have shown as different color. So we will see one by one example of how network disk function will work. So I will directly imp implement here network disk function. I will say network disk function and I will say start date and end date. And we are getting answer here. I don't need the total here. So I will say none. Okay. You are getting zero at the very first line because the start date is greater than the end date. This is a data quality issue. So when your start date is greater than your end date, network disk function will return as zero. That means there is a problem in your start date or end date. If you see the second example, the ticket was raised and resolve on the same date. So in that case, you will get one as answer. Even though network days is considering start date and end date, but both date are same. So it will give you one. But check the third example where ticket was started on 6th of January and finished on 7th of January. So here you will get answer as two. So from the right hand side, calendar you can see ticket started on 6th of January and finish on 7th of January. So we are getting two as answer. In all the three examples, we haven't got any holiday. We haven't got any weekend. The same way a ticket started on 10th and finish on 14th started on 10th of January and finish on 14th of January. We have five working days, no holiday, no weekends. So we are getting answer as five. But check the example number five for the ticket number five. We have ticket raise on 13th of January and finish on 17th of January. So 13th of January and 17th of January, we have five days, but we have also Saturday and Sunday in those five days. So we are getting answer as three, 13th, 14th and 17th. So we are getting answer as three. Same way. Ticket number six, we have start date is 24th and end date is 28th. So start date is 24th and end date is 28th. We should get answer as four because 26 is public holiday, but we are getting answer here five because we haven't mentioned the third parameter here. So now what I will do, I will mention the third parameter in my network disk function. To save our time, I will pause the video and I will mention all the dates here. I have mentioned all seven holidays here and separated them by commas. And I will give label here number of working days. So you can see now here that ticket number six, we are getting four days. It is started on 24th and ended on 28th. So 24 to 28, we have five days, but 26 was on holiday. So we are getting 24, 25, 27 and 28, four days. 
नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज टिकट नंबर सेवन वेर वी हैव वीकेंड एंड हॉलीडे बोथ कमिंग बिटवीन स्टार्ट एंड एंड डेट सो टिकट स्टार्टेड ऑन टेंथ ऑफ फेब्रुआरी एंड फिनिश ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ फेब्रुआरी सो टेंथ ऑफ फेब्रुआरी एंड ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ फेब्रुआरी सो हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ वर्किंग डेज हियर सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन वी हैव मोर डेज बट वी हैव टू वीकेंड्स एंड टू हॉलीडेज कमिंग सो वी आर गेटिंग आंसर एज टेन नाउ वी विल सी वट विल हैपन इफ द टिकट इज स्टार्टेड ऑन वीकेंड If the ticket is started on weekend, then still even though start date is getting considered in network days function, it will still ignore because the start date is falling on weekend. So, example number eight: ticket started on twelfth of February and finished on sixteenth of February. Twelfth of February and finished on sixteenth of February. Even though it is started on twelfth of February. it is saturday 13th of february is sunday so we should get only answer as 3 same way if the ticket is started on holiday so one ticket is started on 18th of february ticket number 9 and finish on 22nd so started on 18th and finish on 22nd we are only getting one day because 18th and 22nd are holidays 19 and 20 both are weekends so we have only one day same way another ticket started on 18th but finish on 24th then we are getting 3 days what will happen if the end date is on weekend or on holiday it will still getting ignored so if you see example number 11 and 12 those end dates getting ignored ticket number 13 started on 12th and finish on 13th started on 12th and finish on 13th both of both dates are saturday and sunday so we are getting zero here same way example number 14 when it is started and finish on weekends 12th march to 19th march 12th march to 19th march then we are only getting four days because 15th march is holiday we have seen few examples how network days function return us number of working days how it will consider holidays how it will consider weekdays weekends how it will consider if your start date or end date is either from weekends or either from holidays now i will show you something i will reduce the size of this and then okay i will increase the size of this table now in our table for our network days function i have enter all holidays manually these holidays are covering only january 2022 to april 2022 but say you have records of 10 years and you have many holidays then in that case it is not easy to enter all these holidays manually so in that case what i can do here is i can create a variable something like this i will say v holidays and here i will mention something like this and now and now i will duplicate this expression and instead of this holidays i will say v holidays with dollar sign expansion so you can see at the bottom now we have all holidays coming something like this and we will get the same answer what we get by manually entering the holidays network days function not only work at the front end it will also work at the back end so we will now see how network days function can be used at back end so here i will use preceding load and i will say load star and network days and i will mention my start date i will mention my end date and here i have to mention all these holidays so instead of mentioning holidays manually 
what I will do? I will create a variable which will give me same result like this. We have given the name holidays here. I will give some, some different name so that we can match both variables. So first of all, I will do here. I will say load concatenate distinct holiday date as all holidays and here I will do exit script at this stage. I will reload this data and at the front end I will create a table and I will say all holidays here. So you can see how we are getting all holidays here. I will increase the size and I will say something like this so you can see how exactly it is working. So now I will use the second parameter in concatenate function and I will separate all the holidays by comma. I will load this one and you can see now all holidays now separated by comma. But I want the final output something like this. My final output should be something like this. I will increase the size. So my final output is something like this. So how can I convert this all holidays into my desired output? So you can see all holidays now separated by comma but all holidays having a single quote. So I will use here character 39 which is which means single quote and I will also use here character 39. So now all my holidays will be separated by something like this. Like this single quote comma single quote. I will reload this application and at the front end we can see now we have all the holidays separated by single quote comma single quote. But we are missing a single quote at the start and single quote at the end. So I will add single quote at start and single quote at end. And now I will reload it and we will see. So now this is the exit output which we want for our variable. So this all holidays I will store in a variable and I will say let v all holidays equal to pick function I will use and I will store a single line because right now it's a single line so I don't need to mention here 0 or minus 1 or anything while using the pick function because it's only one line so by automatically pick function will consider minus 1. So my all holidays now stored inside my variable which is v all holidays. We will verify that one by reloading the application and we will go to the front end and in the variable you can see we are getting the same output. So now I don't need this holiday table. So I will drop the table now and I will remove the exit script and this the holidays I will mention here and I will say number of working days. I will reload the data and this particular field which we have generated I will add in my table and we will see the output. We are getting exactly the same output which we are getting at the front end. So hope you understand how network days function works. Thanks and have a great day.